I'm going to the beach. What? What are you going to do at the beach? Well, I'm going to find some of those horrible invasive green crabs. What are you going to do with them? We'll find out. I'm so proud of you. everyone it's a beautiful day here on the coast of Maine we're on Hendricks Head Beach which is on the west side of Southport Island today we're here looking for the invasive species European green crab it's a nasty nasty invasive just like knotweed and milfoil but this species is impacting our coastal region which is very important in the Gulf of Maine So this not so lovely invasive species, the European green crab, first arrived in the United States in the mid-1800s when it hitched a ride on a sailing vessel that landed in Cape Cod. Now it stayed in the Massachusetts region for a little bit, but like any invasive, it began to spread. And by the 1900s, the European green crab had made its way into the coast of Maine. And today, in 2012, the European green crab is negatively impacting shorelines from Maine all the way to San Francisco, California, and even Washington State in the Pacific Northwest. Now, green crabs have always been a threat to shellfish in Maine because they like to eat smaller species. However, they've usually been kept at bay by the really cold winters that we have, but giving changes in weather patterns and milder winters such as the one we had last year, we're starting to feel the impacts of this species more and more in Maine with every single summer. Here we are at Hendricks Head Beach. The sun has gone down and the crabs have come out to play. The hunters should be here any minute to look for their prey. Vital Science Maine does not condone any of this activity. Children, do not do this at home, unsupervised. It's dead. It got a little juicy on it. Take a picture of the carcass. They can also live in estuaries and in some places have been found upriver. But primarily you're going to find green crabs in the inner tidal where the tides come in and out of the shore or the, even into the subtidal, so just where it starts to get deep. Got one. It's only a baby though. Did you get him, Joe? Yes, I got him. One, two, three, four, five. Five swans. Yeah. 
So here you see the green crab's claws. This one is really not happy that he is upside down, but you can see that they come to a narrow point, and that is a good sign that you have a European green crab. Here you can also see that the shell of these crabs are shaped like pentagons. That's a sign of the green crab, but the most telltale sign is going to be the five spines on each side of the eye. You can see the most important sign of a green crab, five spines next to the eye, because native crab, they're going to have more than five spines. Here I've got a baby little green crab. Now, it's only growing, but when it gets big, this crab is going to do quite a number on any clam that it comes across, which is why these invasive species are so bad to have in Maine, especially in towns like Freeport, where the clamming industry supports many families. Now, these crabs, they are hungry little fellas. In one day, they can eat up to 45 clams. One crab can eat up to 45 clams. That's, that's a lot of clams for a little one. Now, the other thing that makes them so vicious is that they are super reproducers. One mom crab can lay up to 185,000 eggs each time that she goes to have babies. So you think 185,000 baby crabs plus 45 clams a day, Odds are not good for the clams. Not good at all. Well, we're gonna toast this crab and then eat it. And why are you going to toast that little crab? He's so sweet. Because he's a green crab and he is invasive. <laughs>